<laughs> so this is a glorious day. Josh is not happy with me at all. So I, I bought some rims for the Lexus. Um, no bank accounts were harmed in the making of this video. I think that's what I'm going to call it because they haven't been. They haven't been at all. They've been uh, pleasure. To, yeah, only your eyes and you know everybody else's eyes. I'm assuming. To be honest, I wanted some daily wheels, and I think I found them. They're not to everyone's taste. They're definitely not to Josh's taste. He is not impressed with my purchase. Some Half of the internet won't stop. be. Yeah. I, I'll agree with him. I, a, a lot of people, I would probably agree with a lot of people as well, but yeah, my bank account wasn't harmed, so that's fine. <laughs> for the minute, you know, I just don't, I don't oh, want to be rolling minute, right yeah, For the minute. Forward. You're so much more professional than me. Look at this. So yeah, it's a beautiful day. Josh isn't happy. Here it is, bring it in, are you ready? Ooh. Look at that. I'd have just thrown them on to see what happens. God, just the internet will love this. They will love the fact that no, you're no, doing that. They're telling me I'm doing wrong. Oh yeah, that's a good point. You haven't got jack stands under yeah, there. So yeah, here are said wheels. Um, they've been sat on an R32 Skyline for many years, about 20 years, yeah. Um, in a workshop though, but these are after they were clean and there was literally this much dirt on all of them. There's still dirt on Yeah, there's, oh, there's considerable amount of dirt on all of them. I gave up cleaning because I couldn't be bothered. Breaker bar, uh, pencil and ruler has already been done. He's already checked what's cracking there. We were gonna have to adjust the suspension, I'd say. Would you say so? Quite a lot, I think. Quite a lot, oh bugger. Well, that's quite good, because I don't, well, at the moment, it's all the plastic flaps underneath the car no, that are actually no. scraping. <laughs> all the flaps are scraping at the moment. So, bringing the car up a bit would actually be quite good for, you know, daily basis, because at the end of the day, I like going to the post office and there's lots of, uh, there's lots of, <laughs> there's lots of speed bumps on the post office, so. Right, let me help you, because, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to look at them. He just doesn't want to look at them. So, here we are. The wheel is on the car, the first one. And you know, I think it looks quite good if I'm honest. <laughs> We're gonna use these nuts because I have none myself. They're from a Honda Integra, I'm assuming, of some sorts. So, hands are getting dirty. Exciting. I'm not a professional. So what we've done is taken these standard wheels off. There they are. The front is on. Obviously Lacapili and uh, you know paint and all that. And the back is off. Just taking it around the corner to see if it's scrubbing at all and it's not which is quite nice got a little bit of tuck but it could do with a little uh, you know raise up i think for daily driving but i think it's quite good i'm quite happy now i did actually get some bolts with these but i only got 10 so we're actually going to use uh, some honda fitment ones um off a civic forward slash integra that were in stock at josh's house but basically what we've done is the front there looks good it doesn't scrub but there's more than enough room in the top for a cheeky five mil spacer that we've put on this side so there, it sat a little bit nicer, sat a little bit better at the front in my opinion. We've raised this side up as well, about 5 mil. So quite happy with how it looks now, pretty stance in it. This is it, the talking is happening on the uh, wheels. Talky talk, yes we are professionals, Josh is. They look pretty cool though, I'm happy. Right, S15 update, NA build, what's happening Josh? We've lost even more stuff. We lost even more stuff, so like lots of stuff is off the car now. Look at this, look at this. Yeah. The whole thing is actually off, even the inside. Don't quite, you can't quite see it, but that is off as well. So what's happening? Uh, we're doing wire tucking down Wire the tucking here, because this wire was down here, wasn't it? Wire wire, yeah, here. ugly and horrible. So it was ugly, wire, wire, but it's over here now. We put some shiny bits in. Shiny bits here. To replace catch tank, look at that. Bits. Very nice. And then we got rid of this shit. Rid of this shit. It so might go back and I don't know. So that's where the other turbo is going to go, isn't it? So twin turbo, isn't it? Quad, mate. Quad turbo, yeah. sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. From the Fiesta, two, yeah. Two one-litre ones. Two one-litre ones. Feeding two two-litre ones. Two two-litre ones, very nice. And then I we like might that. fit a three-litre in. Three-litre in somewhere. there somewhere, yeah, if you've got enough room. This is one of the turbos, isn't it? That's a supercharger. Oh, that's well, a supercharger, that's right. And so you're twin charging, that's a yeah. good idea. So that's the update. This is the update. <laughs> These wires, you don't even know what they're doing, do you? Obviously that one's the uh, blinker. Don't know about these. These are just there. Uh, that one's just. If anybody knows this one, I'd like yeah, to know. Yeah, if this anyone one, knows, actually. leave a comment below what these wires go to on an S15. Because Josh and I do not have a clue. I don't have a clue. And but I Josh need to find doesn't. out where my side light is. And the side light wire has disappeared as well. Because somebody in Japan realised you didn't need side lights. Yeah, you just chopped them I kind of disagree. Yeah, Josh disagrees. So would an MOT at the end of the day. Update. What's that? Update number three? Two. So. 
three, two, three. 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 S15 update number three. Yeah. Number four coming soon. Every time I fix your shitting car. Yeah, every that time that we do stuff to that, we do we do a little update as well. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> So guys, there we are, the wheels are on the car. A little bit of scrubbing here and there because we put a five mil spacer on the front, but let's have a quick look around. Now, obviously at the front, the five mil spacer's brought it out a little bit. Um, we're gonna roll the arch a little bit at the front. Um, nothing too aggressive though. Obviously I quite like um, the way these are sort of sat now. The offset's quite nice. Um, looking quite good, the concave on the back as well i'm really happy with happy with how it sat at the back as well um quite close to the arch there but again i think we're going to uh, roll the back as well coming around this side um we tried to you know adjust the coilovers a little bit so they were um perfect all round um obviously me being stupid left some weight in one side so it's a little bit out at the moment only about four or five mil um around but i am well happy with how it looks now, realistically, this is just a cheap, you know, for now, go to shows, you know, happy with how it looks, because um, I didn't really want to roll on the uh, standard wheels. But yeah, all in all, really happy. So yeah, really happy with that. Now, this is obviously just before we go to the 621 meet, which is this Sunday in Colchester at the 621 Speed Store. Make sure you're there. We'll be there in the Lexus, um, doing a couple of videos with some nice Hondas in there as well. Um, so it should be a good day out. Hopefully I'll see you all there. Um, the show starts at around 12-ish. Um, obviously this isn't a Honda, so hopefully we can get some nice parking. We'll see when we get there, but yeah, hope to see you all there. So yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with how they are. Although they're, you know, cheap aftermarket wheels, 19, no aggressive offset at the end of the day. Um, I'm really happy with how they look and how they've come out. So let me know in the comments what you think of the car now. Obviously, you know, no bank balances were um, abused in this uh, purchase for the Lexus. Um, I just wanted a cheap set of dailies at the end of the day that I can roll through winter on. Um, and, you know, I didn't really want to go to shows with the standard wheels on. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you like the car now. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.